Welcome to the second part of my video tutorial. This time how to make small self-made improvements on your scale model. I start with marking places, which are going to be afterwards removed with Proxon Micro Drill. I make a hole with an extension head using for milling and then I clean it with a sandpaper and knife. I drill the smaller holes manually before using electric micro drill. Now I start with improvements of the interior. From my own experience, plastic boards prove to be highly versatile material. You can usually buy them in the hobby stores. However, you can use common plastic warning sites too. A lot of people make ribs in the interior from plastic strips. I also tried this approach at the first, but I had a problem with cutting strips to equal white. Moreover, it was complicated to glue them, because there are too much elastic. You can create almost everything from plastic boards. I cut out the doors from electronic shafts using a razor blade saw. I create boxes and devices from plastic warning signs. Button and switches are pulled out from a plastic stick, which I cut into small circles. Finally, I have added a little bit of copper wire. And this is the result after painting. Now I'm back to the Focke-Wulf, because I was not very much successful with making ribs from plastic boards. I rather used to leaden wires which I flattened. I glue them with ordinary super glue. It is easy to work with leaden wires, because lead is a quite soft material. I remove the super glue from places where I do not want it with a debonder. It is an adhesive remover. Afterwards, I unify everything with a surfacer and run over the ribs edges with a rivet wheel. I create conductors from leaden wires. I used a piece of an old pan to make a 50 liters fuel tank. It is also a way how to get some material to improve your plastic models. The radio is also made from plastic board and epoxy party. You can also use a better material like a green stuff. It is two component modeling clay. Green stuff has more elastic consistency and so you can make a finer details than using epoxy clay. I have chosen green stuff to make fuel tank straps. Well, I have just finished my improvements. 
And now I paint everything and glue the both halves of the fuselage together.